Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve this literal equation for y, which would be a very common um, problem that we look at when we have a problem in standard form and we want to write it in slope-intercept form. So this would be something that you'll be seeing in the future. So what one technique that I sometimes like to do is to circle the y. And that means I'm going to pin the y to the board. I'm not going to move the y. It's going to stay right there. Now all I'm going to do is undo everything that's happening to the variable. And I'm going to make sure I'm going to undo it. Um, by using my inverse operations as well as applying the reverse order of operations. So the first thing I need to do is look at what is happening to my variable. And you can see right here that my variable is being multiplied by negative 5. And then you can see right here my variable is being added. And you say, well, why is it being added? There's a subtraction sign. You're right. The subtraction sign says it's being multiplied by a negative 5. There is no sign in front of the 3x. So we, can, so we can show that it's going to be a positive 3, right? Because if it was negative, there would be a, um, a negative sign in front. So therefore, I'm adding a positive 3x, and I'm multiplying by a negative 5. So when I'm using our reverse order of operations, we always want to undo addition and subtraction first. So to undo a positive 3x, I'll subtract 3x on both sides. Well, that's going to subtract to 0. And then I'm left with negative 5y equals, we usually write, like to write the variable in front of um, our constant. So I'll write negative 3x plus 9 because the 9 is positive. Now I need to undo multiplication by negative 5. So I'll divide by negative 5. OK, now that divides to 1. And I'm left with y, which is now isolated, is equal to, well, now I'm going to have to divide this negative 5 into both of these terms. Um, unfortunately, I can't reduce it, but a negative divided by negative now turns to a positive 3 fifths x. And negative 5 divided into 9 is a negative 9 fifths. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a literal equation for your variable y. Thanks.